Good morning, lovely people. Today is Sunday, I think. Yeah, because Chick fil A is. Ooh. 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 That'll do. Because Chick fil A is not open. So I am heading on a. I don't have a clue how many days this trip is. Let's see. This trip is. Ooh, four days. It's on the 200, so I'm by myself. Ooh, ooh, that's my favorite aircraft. I like to work alone most of the time. Um, so yeah, I got my little sausage biscuits over here. I'm trying to um make sure they don't fall over, and I need to eat them real quick. My report time this morning is at 7:20 a.m. It is currently 6:27. I'm usually out of the crash pad by then, but I'm always just sitting at the airport so early, like way before my report time. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to take my time today. So I think I'll do fine because I got a whole hour. You gotta go to the crew parking lot. You gotta wait for the shuttle, you gotta get on the shuttle. So yeah, you just gotta be inside the airport by that time, so, but I'm good. Okay, lovely people, let's see how this trip goes. Let's see how this trip goes. I'm so tired, I'm probably um, living off like two hours worth of sleep. No, it's definitely two hours. Cause when I thought it was falling asleep, an Amber Alert went off. So then I woke up and I had to force myself to go back to sleep. So hang with me on, and I'm trying, I'm driving so slow because I'm trying not to waste my coffee over here. Also. So yeah, you guys, um, stay with me. Let's see how this trip goes. And let's pray for no maintenance issues today. Or these next four days. Okay, you guys, I made it to the airport. And so I asked the flight attendant who I just passed, but I was like, you're a PBS. She was like, no, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to say all my announcements. So let's see how today goes and stay with me. I went to Shreveport, came back. I went not came back to Atlanta, and I went to Buffalo Wild Wings, got some food, and now I'm heading to Columbus, Mississippi to stay the night. And yeah, I'm tired. I was starving at first, but now I'm slightly full. But now I'm just tired. Jesus. So I pray this goes smooth. Oh yeah. So we were delayed the first flight. See, I told y'all we always got delayed. We was delayed the first flight because a piece of the overhead bin had broke off and fell on the ground. So you know, it's something messed up. We can't go nowhere else. So I had told the captain and we was like sitting there for 45 minutes and Maynard was like, yeah, we good, we good, we don't need it. So that flight was delayed, which made my next flight delayed. It cost me less time to eat, but look at me, I'm early now. I got a great crew. My um, first officer and captain are so cool and nice. So yeah, you guys, I'm gonna go on the plane and watch some TikTok videos. Yeah. Hello, girl. Say hey to YouTube. Hello. <laughs> this is my classmate. What's your name again? Delusia. But I call him Deluga. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I made it to my hotel. I am tired, my feet hurt so bad. But let me show y'all my room, it's kinda cute. Hang tight. Okay. Me. Okay, light doesn't shine bright, but that's okay. But wait, 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 there's more. So this is the entrance. This is kind of nice. Like, it's giving me clean vibes. Y'all know I gotta check the um for bed bugs. But let's see, do I have a view? Yeah, I will always remember this hotel. The first time I seen a sign of snow when I was um when I was a flight attendant was in this was this exact hotel. And I remember I looked down and I was like, Nana, look. I called my grandma. I was like, Nana, look. It's it's snowing. She's like, Oh, baby, where you at? I said, Mississippi. She's like, Mississippi. So yeah, y'all. I'm gonna um, take a shower, rest. Yeah, and I'm sure I get up after my nap like I always do, but yeah. Good morning, y'all. I look a mess, per always, because I'm tired. Today is day two or four. 
yeah today i have just two legs today is probably the easiest day my first leg starts off with no service that means i don't have to feed anybody the second leg i think is coffee tea it's coffee tea and water it's pretty short i think it's coffee tea and water i'm really 99 percent sure it's coffee tea and water why well, should be that one percent and it's full service so yeah i'm still overnight in west virginia so yeah i'm tired um for breakfast, they only give us a little breakfast bag with like a juice, a muffin, and a yogurt. That's what they're going to give us downstairs. So, yeah, I have like an hour and a half sit. Well, I was given an hour because you got to be at, by, at back at the plane by so long. So, I have like an hour sit when I get to um back to Atlanta. So, I may go by Chick-fil-A. Depending on that line, I'm probably not going to go by Chick-fil-A. But I'm probably definitely going to go by Starbucks. I'm so tired. Because you can do mobile order. So yeah, um, I'm tired, y'all. I look a mess, sign a mess. Um, yeah, let me put my shoes on because I got like 11 minutes to get downstairs. Bye. Okay, you guys. So I made it back to Atlanta. I'm heading to Starbucks because I got like a two-hour sit, like an hour and a half sit. So I'm heading to Starbucks. Usually I take a little train thing, but it's only um just one terminal over. So I'm gonna walk in. This airport is so packed today. Like, y'all, it's Monday, but it's summertime. So yeah, after this, I'm going to Virginia, and then I'm done for the day. Okay, you guys, I made it to my hotel in West Virginia. I didn't get a room with the view. The view has a it's a it's a beautiful lake, y'all. Like we're right across from it, like a pretty lake. But um yeah, the, this flight was really good. Um, it was chill. Um, oh, I had a passenger. They were like so funny in the front. And um, I told them where I was from. So they kept calling me Mobile. Like I'm not from Mobile, but that's like the same area code. So they kept calling me Mobile. But um, yeah, it was a good flight. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go check out the restaurant here cause I'm starving. Then I'm coming back to my room and I don't plan to leave for the rest of the day. Okay, y'all, so first things first, it's like storming really bad. Well, it's not storming, but you see black clouds. It look a mess, so hopefully I don't have to do service. Okay, you guys, we made it to Atlanta, and yeah, it took us forever to leave because it started lightning, and the ramp people couldn't, um, the ramp people couldn't work or, like, get the rest of the bags up or, like, direct us, like, move the plane because of lightning, and their safety comes... They're, they, we care about their safety as well. So they couldn't start working until we stopped seeing lightning 15 minutes between. So if you seen lightning, then you had to start over at 15, count at 15 minutes again. But we made it. I have like an hour and probably 10, probably an hour and 20. I'm heading to Starbucks to get some coffee. And then, yeah, then I'm going back to the plane. I have three legs. This last flight, I had, um, I had to sit down because it was bumpy. But I was able to get up like 30 minutes till. So like I still pass out coffee and stuff. I did like a little quick service. But yeah, and tea. Well, no tea, but um, water. But yeah, stay with me. Okay, y'all. So we couldn't... Um, it was bad weather in Albany, so we had to um, divert to Dothan, Alabama. And yeah, we had to get everybody off the plane because the weather was bad in um, Albany, so we needed to get fuel. So now we're just waiting for the weather to clear up in Albany so we can get everybody there and I can start my layover. I'm tired. Yeah. It's hot, y'all. It's so hot. Okay, you guys. So I'm back outside again because I had. I had an unaccompanied minor, so I had to get her situated. So pretty much, um, we're pretty much going to time out. So the biggest issue is, is that we're probably going to have to stay in Dothan tonight. And the thing is with that is, if we bring people in on our plane, we're responsible for them. And, um, oh Jesus, we're responsible for them. And we're also um, responsible for this plane. So, yeah, so I'm going to see, we're going to see what we're going to do, y'all. It is so hot. Okay, you guys, another update. So, it's storming. So, 
so we're only allowed to work so many hours, but they can like exceed us to work more. Like they can exceed us to two hours. Well, it was approved to exceed us to two more hours. So yeah, so pretty much this storm has to be over outgoing. We have to be in Albany by two hours or we're staying in Dothan tonight. But we gonna see, we gonna see what's happening. We gonna see. So stay with me. Oh, my hair is only down because um, my captain, first officer, took a, um, uh, he was like, I'll take a picture in front of you in front of I'm like, thanks. So I took my hair out. But I'll put it back in the ponytail when it's time to work. So stay with me. Stay with me. Okay, you guys. So um, they actually had 30, we have 30 minutes to get people on the plane and go. But it's lightning. So we can't go anywhere until, okay, when lightning, Okay, 15 minutes. Lightning strikes. We have to count over again 15 more minutes. Y'all, it's been another lightning strike, so we have to start over again. Captain said, girl, go get your stuff. We're gonna go. So, yeah, y'all. <laughs> we staying in Dothan tonight. <laughs> this, I'm so glad I vlogged this trip. First and foremost, let me shout out my little cousin Amber because she is a die hard soaring with Minnie fan. If nobody else support my videos, she gonna support my videos. So yeah, that's why I had to throw that out there and shout her out. Cause she gonna be waiting for this little shout out. All right, y'all, let me get my bags. Okay, you guys, back again with another eight update. So basically, instead of working five flights tomorrow, we only get to work three. They went ahead and took two flights off because we needed to rest, so they pretty much gave it to somebody else. So tomorrow, we um, our report time is at like 11 a.m. something, so our first flight pretty much is like at 12 noon. And it's currently like, I don't know. Shoot, what time is it? It's currently 6.32, so. Yeah, decent, um, decent amount of time to sleep. So, yeah. Okay, you guys. We made it to the hotel in Dothan. Y'all, that's an interesting vlog. So, yeah. So, um, we all are just going to go out to eat to the Mexican restaurant across the street. Because we're all, like, hungry. So, we have a 13-hour um layover here. We leave at, like, noonish tomorrow. So, yeah. That's how today went. <laughs> And I, the captain was talking. He was like, just let you know. Because I told him I've been here eight months. He said, it gets worse than this. Like, we've had some crazy days. It gets worse. So, all right, you guys. Let's see how tomorrow goes. Instead of five legs, we only have three tomorrow. They took those off because we got to rest. So, let's pray tomorrow goes great because it's go home day. hey lovely people good morning good morning so today is day four of four today is go home day and excuse me i have a peppermint in my mouth it is like busting right now it's real good um yeah so today is go home day um i supposed to have five legs today but they took it out because of the whole diversion thing weather thing and because we timed out so i have to go from here to atlanta then Atlanta to Valdosta, Valdosta back to Atlanta, and I'm done for three days. So yeah, so this is good. Like I feel good. Like I feel refreshed. Like I, I like starting my day around this time because like right now it's currently 11:03. Like I love starting my day around this time because it gives me time to um to just rest, to feel good, to wake up before my alarm clock. So y'all, it's go home day, and everything happens on go home day. It's crazy. So let's just pray that. Today go smooth and everything. Stay with me. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna board soon. Well, I think. And so here's the thing, we're going to Valdosta and because one of their runways are closed, so they have a shorter runway. Well, not after this one. The one, um, we're gonna go to Atlanta and then next we go to Valdosta. So the runway is closed. Well, one of the runways is closed. And the one, the one that we come in on is shorter. So the runway that we come, the runway that we come in is shorter. So if it's raining, then we have to cancel the flight. 
because we can't come in on a short runway and it's raining. It's dangerous. So we're gonna see, stay with us. Look y'all, look at all this condensation in there. Look at all this. That condensation is, um, y'all know when it, the heat, air, all that mixed together. Anyways, look. Remember what I said y'all, go home day. So, currently we just had everybody on the board. Everybody was on board, we was ready to go, door was closed, everything. Well, there was an issue with the brake and that's a no-go item. Okay, they just cut the light. They just cut the whole plane off and they're gonna restart the plane before maintenance get here. So we, um, yeah, we're waiting for maintenance because there was a brake issue. So yeah. And let's see if we're gonna go to Valdosta today. Let's pray we don't. Okay, another update, I'm back. Um, so the next flight takes off in 54 minutes. The flight that I'm supposed to be working next, the flight from um, Atlanta to Valdosta. They haven't called me yet to take me off that flight yet, but they called the captain the first officer and taking him off the flight. So that's cool, I'm probably not going. I've confirmed it in my head that I'm not going because maintenance is still out on the floor over there. So it looks like I'm probably not going. But um, yeah, I, probably, I know I would not make it. And I don't think they'll delay a flight because of just a flight attendant. That's what we have reserves for. So we're gonna see, but yeah. Thank God I got, I took all the peppermint from the Mexican restaurant yesterday because your girl look hungry and I've been tearing that peppermint up. I'm so glad I vlogged this y'all because today's been a morning, a trip, a day, a month, a, yeah. But stay with me. Okay, you guys, I haven't officially been notified, but I refreshed my app and it looks like I do not have to go to Valdosta today. But they have me on time available from 5.01 p.m. to, to 7 p.m., which I don't feel like they're gonna touch me because they never touch me on available. So, yeah, so whenever this plane gets fixed one day, I can go back to Atlanta and I'm done for the day. Okay, y'all, I went ahead to this little restaurant, got me a little turkey and cheese sandwich because once they close, ain't no food but a vending machine, so I had to give me at least a little sandwich. But I think they made an announcement that um, the plane ain't going, so I'm gonna go ask the captain first off to see what we doing because we, we need to go home. Okay, you guys, another update. We're gonna be here for three more hours. So here's what's happening. I don't know nothing about no break. I don't know that in terms that they talking about. But we're gonna be here for three more hours because there's a flight leaving um, Atlanta in, um, in two hours. So that's two hours right there. It'll get here in an hour. So that's three hours. They're gonna put the part that we need. They're gonna put it on that plane. So who knows what can happen. He said they could fly us back. They're deadheading us, which means we're gonna be passengers on this plane. We don't know yet, but we're pretty much gonna be here for three hours. So I'm glad I got me a little sandwich, sandwich. Eat me a little, drink a little ginger ale. So yeah, y'all, this is the life of a flight attendant, <laughs> but I love it. I would not trade it for anything. Like I love this job. Yeah. Okay, here's the pretty much probably the final update. So they're bringing a 700 in, which is a larger plane. Um, I'm going to be working at but they're also bringing another flight attendant in on that plane. She's she's on. It's a rescue flight, so they're pretty much bringing mechanics. They're bringing um, flight attendant, captain. They're all re be, will be on that plane to rescue us. So we're going to take these people. Who some of them already said they're going they're going to stay here. They're going back home. But there's some people still trying to get to Atlanta. So we're bringing them people, plus other people that are that were already on the on that's supposed to be going on the next flight. So we're bringing those people and yes yeah, so i'm gonna work this um flight whenever it gets here it's a 700 so i'm gonna work that flight with another flight attendant so yeah and the mechanics will stay here to get that this plane fixed is once we close the door and we're off this plane like we're done with this plane because it can't it, it ain't going nowhere today especially with nobody on it so yeah y'all we was ready to go we are delayed two hours everybody and everything but we delayed two hours because of weather in Atlanta like there's no planes leaving or going to Atlanta right now what a go home day y'all I made it back to Atlanta I'm tired I'm not actually tired like I have so much adrenaline like y'all when I got off the plane People's asking me where to go, y'all. I know I sat there for 30 minutes directing people where to go. Got upstairs, people asking where to go. It, it was crazy, but y'all, today was amazing. Like, 
it's crazy that's how i know i love this job because so many people would have quit after today like so many i got so many compliments about my customer service somebody so many people asked how to spell my name i looked on twitter people's writing great things about me like y'all i love this job but um it, this job is not for the week it's not for the week at all what's crazy is we finally got people boarded up and literally literally as we were ready to go he was like hey y'all just want to let y'all know atlanta is grounded so no planes could take off because of weather so we couldn't go in he said we're going to be here for another hour all right cool so the some of the okay hear me out some people that was supposed to leave dothan their flight was delayed because they it couldn't get out of um there so we put them on our plane y'all tell me why that plane came in they left first and we left after them people could have got back on that plane but it's just crazy like and after he said an hour we wait an hour he said i have more bad news 45 more minutes y'all it got a little cussing people started cussing but like it was like it was great like i got so much adrenaline i need to chill because i don't know why i got all this adrenaline but hey y'all i made it we good i'm finna go surprise my grandma i got three days off she told me not to come home because by the time i do that gas it's like a hundred dollars for gas but i don't kind of need to see my grandma i need a home cooked meal i'm finna go see my nana so thanks for tuning in with me today y'all like this has been a wild trip like this has been a wild trip but i'm thankful like i love my job and i don't i don't know why i have so much adrenaline but i always had the most adrenaline so yeah thanks for tuning in you guys i may um actually show y'all me surprising my grandma i don't know well i don't know nothing she may not be looking right because it's, it's late at night she may yeah thanks for tuning in y'all remember to like share and subscribe